Okay, this video is going to um, show you an overview of EasyBib and how to create citations in text and a works cited. So those are the two different things you'll have to do is create a works cited page and in text citations. So uh, this is going to be an overview. So once you go to easybib.com, you'll click on create citations. Okay, now for most classes in the future, you are not going to be allowed to just use a website, okay? Um, so we're gonna use a website today, but I'm also gonna show you how to do a book, and then um, we can look at some of these other things, and it's the same thing. So you just need to make sure that you are selecting whatever it is. Okay, if it's a digital file, a digital image, and yes, if you have ever included a picture into a um, report before, if you didn't take the picture, it doesn't belong to you, and that is actually a form of plagiarism, so don't, don't let that happen. So especially when it's this easy to just give credit to where credit is due, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is click on website, and um, it tells you to give the URL. So I've already done a different website about Abraham Lincoln. And if you remember from the previous video, I did an um, Abraham Lincoln citation in that one as well. Just trying to stick to the same thing so you can see what it's like, okay? Now notice this is a, a um, Britannica, which is an encyclopedia online. Um, there are a lot of these websites that give you this, um, and if you click on it, it's everything you need to know um, to cite that source. So a lot of the information can be get gotten from that particular um, button, okay? So we're gonna copy the URL, go up there and copy it. We go back in to our machine, make sure it's right, click search. Here it is, click cite. So it tells you, um, this is the stuff they have found, and over here they um, couldn't find the publisher or sponsor. So we will do that on the next page if we can find it. If we can't find it, we do not fill it in. We just leave it. So we click that. So it tells you that we need to try to find um, the author. So we go back in here. This is going to give us our um, information here. Richard N. Current is what we need to put in to that because it is listed for us. So, and, and other websites, I just want you to know um, that a lot of times it's up here at the top near this, um, written by Richard N. Current, so we see it. Last updated right here at the very bottom, it will give us... Um, sometimes the publisher um, and the published date. So let's see, Oops, this one keeps popping back up there, won't let me stay down here. I don't see anything at the very bottom. So we're gonna go back up and go back over and we're gonna type in or paste in his name, I'm taking this out, we'll type in There we go, okay? So we have his name in there now. We can go ahead and complete the citation. And you'll notice that there are some other things in here. These are things that I've already done. So this is the one we just did. We're gonna copy that citation. Now they're, they're gonna be, since this is a free site, they're gonna be some things pop up. And I know this site actually in particular makes you watch a, an advertisement every 48 hours. So just do what it tells you to do on the screen and it should um, free that up for you. Okay, so we go back in. We have to create a Word document, okay? And this is um, the one that we're gonna practice on. The title of it should say Works Cited. Make sure, this is what a lot of kids do. These things up here should be on left align. So for the, um, title, it should be center, but once you hit enter, you need to hit left align so that everything is lined up properly, okay? So all you do after we copied this copy, you go in here and you paste, okay? 
okay? Now, it doesn't always, if you look at it, it doesn't always copy it um, correctly. If you notice in this, the reason that this is um, indented here is because when you're doing works cited, it's the opposite of a paragraph. The first line is not indented and all other lines should be indented. So sometimes you have to play with this to get this to be properly cited. So we're going to go all the way to the end with this. Whoops. Okay. Now, here's a trick, too, for those of you that have trouble with this. Go to the end of this line and hit enter. Then you can hit backspace. And then you can either um, hit spacebar or tab. Oops, it keeps wanting to do that. Um, and this is probably not. Let me see. Format. Line spacing. We want to be on single. Okay. So... We go to the end of this line. Sometimes it won't let you. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and, but tab is also five. Okay. Now, for my purposes here, usually I wouldn't have this space between here, but my um, thing is set. It was already set up for one and a half spacing, so it's in one and a half spacing. Okay. So that's our first um, work cited. Let's go back in to this. Okay. Now the other one we did earlier in the other video was this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. So we're going to copy it, go back in. Now notice this one, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in and I'll show you. So we're going to paste it in. Okay. Again, got to kind of mess with it, make sure it is, um, there we go, in the right format. Now there is still something wrong with this page and that is that it's not in alphabetical order. You must, absolutely must have your um, work cited in alphabetical order. Numbers come before letters if it happens to start with a number. So all we do is highlight that, cut, space it, um, and paste it in above that one. And now we have it in the correct order, okay? So this is the first one and this is the other one, okay? Now we're gonna do a book and it's not gonna relate to Abraham Lincoln, but we're gonna do that so that um, you understand how to do a book too, because in the future you will have to do a book. Okay, so you go back to where you're going to choose your source. You click book. Okay. Now it tells you here how to do it. You can do it by title, ISBN, or keywords. Okay. So for our purposes, I'm going to cite this book. Doesn't matter what it is right now. It's not about Abraham Lincoln, but ISBN, I want to show you where you find that. This is an ISBN number near the barcode. You will see it says ISBN, and then it has a number following ISBN. You can literally search for a book by that number. Um, you can also type in the name of the, the book, but I'm going to do it by ISBN so that you can kind of see um, how this works. Um, it's very specific if you do it by ISBN and um, pretty simple. So I'm typing that one in. All right, so there's my ISBN number. That's exactly the book I'm holding in my hand. I click cite. It tells you, oh, we have all of the information you need. So there's nothing I have to do. I just have to keep hitting uh, continue and click complete. And there we go. Here it is. We copy that and we go back in to our work cited. And we're going to go ahead and paste it in. And it happens to be in that Oops, in that particular order. So G comes after C, okay? So this one, I'm gonna change the coloring so you can see. This one, I'm gonna make that one red. And I'm, you keep this in black and always, always, always use a very simple um, font. Your teachers sometimes will even tell you what they want you to use because you don't wanna use different colors or crazy uh, fonts, okay? So we're going to make this one just a different color to stand out for our purposes here. And the black, we'll just keep it. Okay. So the reason I color coded them so you can see this is number one, this is number two, this is number three. Okay. 
Now, let's say those are our three sources. Every bit of information that we got for our report came from these three sources. How do you do an in-text citation? That means as you're writing your words of your story, how do you show that those particular words you just used came from this book by Richard Current, okay, or this website by Richard Current, or this book by Kelly Gallagher? So what we have to do, I'm going to pause this for a second so I can pull that up. Okay, continuing on here. So here is the in-text that I want to talk about. So the, an in-text citation is simply um, something you put in parentheses after whatever you are using in your um, essay. So the words that you take from the um, internet or the book that you used that you put into your essay have to have something behind it to show where it came from. So these are um, copies of the uh, bibliography, okay? This is just a whole different website. And um, this is an in-text citation. Notice you just put parentheses around um, part of the um, bibliography or the work cited. So that way we know where it came from. Um, Jones, E-T-A-L, is Latin for and others because that one has more than one author. And then that's the page number. This is the same thing. Three authors. If there's more than three, you can do what this says, like E-T-A-L. And this one is 76, okay? With no author, you would just have something like this, the um, article title with what page you find it on. So um, what we're going to show you here is these, this is our original, okay? Now, this would be the part, let's say, part of our story, that our essay that we're typing. So let's say um, this, in quotes, is what you want to um, give uh, credit to. And we're going to say that it is from this uh, first website, okay? There's no author for this one, so we have to just use this. Okay. So we copy just this. And again, this is just like a clue to my works cited page. So when your teacher reads it, they know which of the three that you listed in your works cited that it came from. So all we do is put a parentheses and that. Okay. That's work. That's how you do in text citation. Okay. So after the um, initial quote that we used right here, it would then have where it came from. Now, if that were from, let's say, Kelly Gallagher, we would do copy just that. Oopsie. Scroll down. Sorry. And inside the parentheses, we would do... Kelly Gallagher. And since that's a book, we have to have the page number. So we would simply do like 98. Okay. That's the page number. Simple. This is a little note to your teacher that shows which of these it came from.